Hey, what's going on guys? It's Eagle Man here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be doing another eBay search. Where I'm going to be looking for unique baseball cards for my collection or for resale. In the last video, I was looking up cards for my personal collection, looking up Bob Feller cards. If you can actually see some recently viewed items, these are some sets that I'm going to be looking at today. I'm going to be looking for some Topps gold cards. I'm also going to be looking for some cards uh, that I might want to resell later, see if I can get a good deal on them. So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We do all sorts of sports card content on the channel just like this. So let's go ahead and get started. We look at our uh, our searches here. Topps Gold Lot is something that I've been searching a lot lately. And I found that they're quite entertaining to look at what people are listing here. So if I find something really cool, I'll skip to it and I'll highlight it and I'll show you guys what I'm working with. So here's a good one right here I'll actually highlight. This is 30 different 2018 Topps Update Gold Borders. So obviously this is probably not like big name players or or any big name rookie cards that might turn into something. But I really enjoy collecting the Topps Gold Cards. If you guys have been following the channel at all, uh, you'll know that I really enjoy collecting the Topps Gold Cards. And I'm actually trying to complete as many complete sets of the Topps Gold Parallel as I can, starting from 2001 all the way till today. So uh, right now I'm just trying to collect it as many as I can to start the sets as I'm going. So this right here... Uh, is 30 different 2018 Topps Gold cards. The current bidding is at 12 bucks and it's $5 shipped. I like to buy them around 50 cents to 40 cents per card for the lower end commons, I guess you could say. Uh, they are serial numbered to the year that they were produced if you're not familiar with gold cards. So this is sitting at about 17 bucks shipped right now. That is a little bit over what I would normally pay, but this isn't bad and I really like the 2018 update set. So I'm actually going to place a bid on it. I'm just going to bid $1 more and yeah, that Looks like it put me in the lead there, so I will take that. And hopefully we'll get it. I don't know if I will or not. This one right here is pretty good. I like this one a lot. 2022 Tops Gold, a lot of 20. This is for five bucks with five bucks shipped. I will place the minimum bid of five bucks because that's about as much as I would pay for it. So, yep, so I got the higher because I was the first bidder in there. That one just kind of opened up, but it doesn't look like there's any big names. Sometimes you might get lucky and a bigger name might sneak in there, a bigger rookie card. Now, this one's pretty interesting. This is 22 of these Topps Gold cards, but it does include some of the older ones. Like this one here is 2003, it's 2005, 2009. Those ones are, I guess, a bit more rare. Not really rare, but uh, they're a bit more sought after. As I'm saying that, I'm actually already the high bidder. So obviously I've already found this one pretty interesting. So that's great. I'm glad I'm the high bidder on that one. Let's take a look at this one. I'm kind of curious as to what it says here. I actually own a, the, the most amount of gold cards I have for one set is 2019. Uh, but even then, it's I think it's still about 6% of the entire gold card set. So that's really not much at all. But it says Machado in the title, so I'm actually kind of interested to see. Yep, so we've got the Manny Machado on the top left there. That's when he was uh, uh, early in the Padres in his career. Uh, we got David Fries. I'm looking at a couple big names. Some of these team cards can sometimes go for a little bit more, like they got the Rangers team card and the Arizona team card. Uh, they had the gold parallels of the team cards can sometimes go for a little bit more. This is currently at $10 starting bid at 6 bucks, and that's, that'd be 28 cards. So half of that price would be 14 That's about as much as I would pay uh, for that. So this one's a little bit more, but actually I will pay because it's got the Machado in there. This one ends in about two hours. So uh, I'll drop uh, $10 on this one, be the high bidder on that. And uh, yeah, it's 2019, which I'm doing really well in that set. Let's check out this one. I think I've already placed a bid on that. Yeah, so I've been outbid on this one. Wow. Didn't realize that was outbid. This is 2001 Tops, which is insane. That was the first year that Tops put out uh, the gold parallel that was serial number. They put out the gold parallel in 1992. Uh, in a couple years after that, but it wasn't serial numbered and it wasn't as rare. 2001 was their 50th anniversary, so that's when they started the gold parallel and they've continued it ever since. It's been the only consistent parallel since 2001 that Topps has put out. And so that's why I like the parallel so much, but 2001 was the inaugural year and that's a bit more sought after. Uh, it's also got some really good names in there. It's a really good set and the gold parallels that year just look amazing as well. So 2001 is a bit more sought after in that respect. We got 27 of these guys. And it's currently at $5 shipped, and it's sitting at um, 8 bucks. So I don't know why I bid so low on this. I can probably bid um, probably up to $15. Uh, it's a bit more than I'd like to pay. So I'll place down about 10 or 11 bucks. I'll put down 11 for this one, 11.23. I like to put obscure numbers at the end in case someone bids the same amount as me. Uh, kind of get the edge uh, in that respect. So I'll increase the bid, see if we get the high bid. And looks like we're still outbid. I'll, you know what? We're bidding up to 13 on this one. See, yep, so we've been out there. That's a bit much for me, but I'll keep track of that to see how high that one goes. That'd be interesting to see. Uh, let's check this one out. Is this a three-card lot? Yeah, so it's just a three-card lot. We got an Albert Pujols gold card, so that one's not bad. Uh, we got a camo card. Those are pretty low number. Yeah, those numbered out of 25. Then we have a black card of Yu Darvish. Uh, Yu Darvish has had a really good career. 
very likable player. So is Brandon Crawford and Pujols. These are all really likable players. Currently sitting at about $15 shipped for these three. Would I make $15? Is this worth $15? I don't know. This one ends in about four days. Uh, but that's not a bad lot. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure about that one. I will add this to the watch list. I'll keep that in my uh, my viewing pleasure. I'll have to do more research on some recent sales of those types of parallels, but I'm not too sure about this one. Let's check this one out. This one's kind of interesting. 70 gold numbered lot. Check this out. We got a very young Pujols in there. I think that's 2004 or 2005. As that said, I'm not too certain. Got an Alex Rodriguez, David Ortiz, Manny Ramirez, some of the best players from that era. Manny, we got Griffey, Don Larson from 2001. I mean, this, is a, this is a very good Vladdy, uh, Vlad Guerrero. Looks like, yeah, there's a bunch in here. Wow, there's a, oh, there's a lot actually. So they didn't show them all on the front page. So this could be a really good one here. This could be a really good get. Lots of 05 cards. A couple 2006 cards in there. We got a young Terry Francona when he was with Boston. Uh, a couple team cards there, some younger team cards. These are some early 2000s. Uh, gold parallels, which are awesome. Very sought after, uh, in my opinion. So what's this? This is about 70. Is it actually 70? Yeah, it sure is 70. I just counted them all up. That is 70 gold cards right there. Wow. And they're like really gold. They're like really, really good cards too as well. Uh, shipping's only about six bucks. So yeah, I'm gonna, I would pay a hefty, hefty one for this one. Uh, let me put down $42.10. See how we do with this one. Great. I'm the current leader in that one. I would really like this lot. That's why I pay or am, am willing to pay so much for it. Just because it has some big names. Griffey, Manny, Pujols, Rodriguez. Some bigger Hall of Famers I noticed down here. That's a great lot right there. Check this one out. 93. 93 2018 Tops Gold Cards. You got a couple 2019 mixed in there as well as I can see. Uh, we got Corey Kluber in there. Marcel Ozuna. Uh, a couple bigger names. But yeah, that's a, that's a lot of gold cards all at once. But uh, yeah, 90 bucks, <laughs> $94 shipped. That's about a dollar a gold card there. It wouldn't be worth it if you're buying that many uh, uh, that many in bulk. So here's a good example. Uh, I mean, you look at this listing right here. You have 2003, 2006, Topps Baseball Gold Apparel, eight card lot. Uh, it's kind of hard to see the photo. You can't really tell what the cards are or who the players are. So oftentimes you might get lucky. And so you have to click on this listing to see who the players are. You might get like... A crazy rookie card or a crazy good player that's kind of mixed in that wasn't really highlighted or featured properly so you might be able to steal like a <laughs> really good card in this case that this isn't the case for this listing but um, you do have to be careful when you see a listing that's kind of blurry or the photo is really not oriented correctly uh, it's I guess it's in good practice to at least check it out to see if you might be able to sneak a really good card uh, in, in an auction like that or even a buy it now this one's kind of interesting 2002 tops chrome gold refractor i think these ones are numbers numbered they might be uh 2002 got a five you can't really see who the other players are in there yeah maybe it's in the description yeah it is in the description rod back david bell uh mike Sira siratka probably soroka uh albi lopez and ben patrick so nothing nothing crazy there so it's just a comment let's go to com c here and actually check what these kind of prices are listed for this is what i like to do to sometimes compare prices so 2002 tops chrome gold now let's just see what kind of hits we'll, we'll have to do some filters here it's all baseball okay so these are not serial numbered i thought they were serial numbered for some reason so, so the commons actually don't go for very much uh, so what i do is i like to filter and sort by lowest price to see what the lowest common denominator for some of these common cards go for it uh, looks like they're about a 50 to 60 cent card. So I thought they were serial numbered, but I guess they are not, uh, unlike today's Topps Gold cards. But uh, it's, it's worth checking out. So that one's not going to pass. Uh, but I think I'm kind of done looking at the Topps Gold parallels for now. Let's do another search here uh, because I'm starting to see some duplicate listings that I've already seen. I do like to search sometimes the term baseball card lot. And sometimes you get some really good hits and you might be able to steal some really nice cards that... If you're looking to flip and make some money on just because you know what you're doing, this would be a great way to do it. Um, so I like to do this sometimes. I also like to see what kind of stuff people are listing. Uh, like this one just says vintage baseball cards. Like that's not not very specific at all. Um, it is vintage, so at least they were correct on that. This is 1970s here, late 70s. There's some decent names like Dave Concepcion and J.R. Richard, a couple of names that I kind of recognize, but nothing crazy right now. Um, not really sure how much this is. I mean, it would be four bucks if I win. So I'll place one dollar on it to see, to see if we can get lucky and snipe it. 
Uh, but that's highly unlikely, but you never know. So I actually almost skipped over this one uh, because I thought it was just selling these five cards here, but it's actually 80 different Derek Jeter cards. And I'm looking right here. We got a Jumbo Topps Chrome card from the first year they released Topps Chrome. I think that's 1997, um, so which is pretty cool. Don't know the value of that one, but we got some rookie cards here of Derek Jeter. Uh, we've got some early 2000 Topps Chrome cards of Jeter, some very young Jeter cards, 96 Topps, 2007. That's the... Um, Mickey Mantle and George Bush variation parallel, actually. So we got some very young Jeters here. 94 Bowman, 2006 Tops, 2007. Um, some really good breakup value, actually. So I might actually place a bid on this. Uh, some, yeah, really good stuff here. Jeter's a very likable player. It even comes with the, <laughs> the little pinnacle inside can, which is also pretty neat. So yeah, a lot of Jeter cards here. I'm willing to put a, a bid on this one. Probably started at about five bucks or so. I think I can make uh, some profit back on that. This looks like someone already has bid on that. I guess I'll bump it up to seven. It's probably the max that I would go. Yep, that would be too much. Really neat Derek Jeter lot, though. I like that uh, Topps Chrome Super card there. Along with this Jumbo from 2000. That's the little box stopper they used to have. Yeah, this one's pretty cool right here. Might get lucky with this one. All it says in the listing is six Aaron Judge cards, rookies and more. So he's got a, a rookie card here, a Topps Update rookie card. Uh, Topps Fire, that's a blue parallel fired up. I don't know what year that is. Um, but we got another rookie right here. This is a rookie insert, another Topps Fire card, and then a Mosaic. So let's look up to see what Aaron Judge card this is. So I'm looking right here. That's the Fired Up card that's listed on the listing right here. That is the blue chip from 2018. So that's a second year Aaron Judge card. We're going to look for this one now. That also looks like it's from 2018. It's another blue chip card, blue chip parallel that is. That's Hot Starts. So pretty cool cards too. Good cards there. Two rookies right here. And then we have the Mosaic Parallel, which is a blue camo, I believe. Yeah, so it might be just a blue camo or a reactive blue mosaic. Uh, it's kind of hard. Actually, I think that's the reactive. Yeah, it sure is. That's a reactive blue mosaic card right there. And then we have another insert card right here. That's the 2017 Salute, I believe. Yep, so that is the 2017 Salute. And that's actually a pretty decent rookie card or a rookie insert from his year. So that, I really like this lot right here. I'm willing to pay a decent amount for it. So I'm going to go ahead and place, let's see, tw I'm going to place $23.42. Uh, I'll start with that, see if we can get lucky with this one. Uh, right, so we are winning this this auction right now. Kind of just started. Um, but yeah, some really good Aaron Judge cards right there. Uh, some nice rookies. And the, the listing really is not good. Six Aaron Judge cards, rookies, and more. Some decent parallels and some good rookie cards. That's a good lot. Really glad I found that one. So I almost skipped this one as well, but this one uh, kind of caught my attention the more I read the listing. 2002 to 2012, Alex Rodriguez, three count cards with low serial parallels. So I looked at the first card here. This is a 2002 Bowman's Best, numbered out of 200. What is this card actually? So this is actually the red parallel out of 200. Yeah, looking up top there, it says out of 200. Uh, the base right here, they have the blue out of 300 and then the red out of 200. Um, so yeah, that's a decently low parallel card of Alex Rodriguez. We have two cards right here. We have lo what looks like a Topps Gold card and then a Topps Refractor from 2009 from Chrome. When we look at the back here, you can see that this 2012 Topps Gold card is numbered out of 61. So, I, I mean, it's not throwing me off, but it, that does say out of 61. It doesn't say out of 2012, which got me wondering, why is this Topps Gold card not numbered out of 2012? Well, that's because if you look at the dimensions of the card, this top card compared to the bottom card, the top card is much smaller than the bottom card. So this top one is part of the Topps Mini set from 2012, meaning that the serial numbers for those parallels are a lot different. So this one, it's a, it's a mini variation out of 61. And here's the refractor from 2009 Topps Chrome. This one is not serial numbered, so it's kind of like a misleading uh, title there, but um, it's still a very rare card. It's still a nice uh, parallel from a really good set. So I actually really like this lot, but uh, $13 shipped uh, is a bit much, I think, for these three cards, but I really like it. So I'm gonna watch this one um, I think this is a good lot. Hopefully they can send an offer, maybe maybe downplay that price just a little bit, but I like it. I know Alex Rodriguez is kind of uh, polarizing to some people and many people, but still a, a likable or, or at least a really good career, even though steroids might have tainted him and personality might polarize people, like I said, but really good career. Can't discount it. Played for the Yankees. Very likable team by many people and hated by many people as well. Um, but yeah, that's basically going to do it for today's video. I had a lot of fun looking at these lots. I really enjoy 
making these videos as well, kind of talking through my process of how I like to look for cards on eBay. Um, showing you guys the lots I don't end up buying and showing you the lots that I try to buy but maybe not end up winning. But so hopefully you guys did enjoy this process and, and, and me looking at these cards. If you guys did enjoy it, uh, please like and subscribe for more of these videos to come. This has been Eagle Man. I'll see you guys next time.